Welcome back to the 2018 AT&T Business Summit here in Dallas. I'm Des Blanchfield and I'm joined by Alex Geronis, Director of Threat Intelligence. Hi Alex, how are you? I'm doing well, thanks Des. How about yourself? I'm doing fantastic. We have a very exciting couple of days here in Dallas. Uh, I'd like to catch up with a couple of topics with you uh, around your world and what we've been hearing in the last couple of days here, uh, particularly cybersecurity and the application of artificial intelligence to cybersecurity. Sure. Could you just give us a quick update on kind of where you're at and, and what some of the key points are currently in your world in AT&T business with the uh, whole challenge of threat analysis? Sure. So, you know, where we've come from and from a paradigm perspective is traditional kind of rules-based alerting. In, in yesteryear, and this was extremely labor intensive. And in understanding a customer's environment and the traffic that we're seeing come across that, we get a lot of false positive. It's a high touch, mm -hmm. like I said, labor intensive approach to making sure that our customers are protected. And we see this evolution and we, we have the implementation of some math and we have unsupervised machine learning, ultimately supervised machine learning, and then now we're seeing a, a larger adoption of artificial intelligence. And through that paradigm, you see the heavy, heavy labor uh, piece being mm -hmm. ha handled by those models and by that math. And so there's a fundamental shift that allows that human capital, the smart women and mm -hmm. men that we have working on these things, uh, focus on the core kind of threat hunting pieces that we're paying them for. Right. You know, the high value pieces that is very difficult for, at least at this moment in time, any machine to replicate uh, what we're seeing from a human right. being. So uh, we're in that paradigm right now. We're seeing a fundamental shift in uh, uh, the, how we're pursuing the monitoring and alerting and uh, ultimately the remediation of these threats. Mm -hmm. And we're excited to see the wide scale adoption of this as we move forward. Uh, the scale we're talking about is, is just almost insurmountable for human capital to deal with. Sure. Uh, and, and automation really has to become a thing in my mind that uh, once you get these models trained, you get the machine learning tools and even deep learning tools to, to understand what is a threat and, and what is not a threat and get rid of the false positives. Uh, where are we at with the whole automation challenge around applying artificial intelligence to cybersecurity? I mean, it's, it's, it's a heady challenge. It's a big uh, one. Early days. Where it's are we a big at one. I think we're probably in the middle of that transition right now. Right. You know, in, in, uh, again, years past, uh, there was a big fundamental focus on the application of some advanced analytics in mm -hmm. this space. Uh, this year, next year, and the years beyond, we're really trying to get smart and have an eye on the fact that we have a large job shortage in this space, uh, specifically when it comes to our analysts, uh, right. and, and making sure that we have the ability to automate the security operations center, that we automate a lot of the kind of manual tasks that mm -hmm. an analyst performs on a daily basis, and get smart about that. In doing so, you know, we're, we're automating everything that we can, so mm -hmm. you see mm -hmm. wide scale adoption of the use of AI in the application of even service. So you see right. chatbots. A lot of big name companies out there are using artificial intelligence with chatbots these days. And, and you know, it's, uh, it's an important shift in making sure that we have the ability to free up again the human capital and the mm -hmm. time that people mm -hmm. are spending to focus on their kind of core competencies. But again, you know, it's, it's kind of a, a double edged sword there too. So yes. uh, you probably saw on the news, you know, recently. So the, some of these chatbots have actually developed their own language to start communicating yes. in. And so as humans, as the inventor of these things, we step back and we're looking at these things and saying, geez, uh, this has now reached a point where I have no idea, fundamentally, mm -hmm. no understanding of what is being communicated uh, at, with these chatbots. I think it's fair to say that there is some concern about that whole black box challenge, but uh if we've been following a lot of your announcements recently, you've been unbundling a lot of those and, and making sense out of them. One of the things we've been seeing here this week, and, and I guess the theme of the event itself is edge to edge, uh, Internet of Things. This must be a whole new th uh, threat surface for you to deal with, uh, not just in the infrastructure space around utilities and so forth, uh, but enterprise as well. Uh, what's happening in that space for you as far as the, the edge of the network and network computing and IoT? Yeah, so specifically one of the, the growing areas that we're seeing from a cyber perspective is ICS, industrial control systems. Mm -hmm. And so the advent kind of originally when we came on the scene with wide scale IoT, just kind of dummy devices, was the monitoring of, you know, uh, what is anomalous activity yep. on a particular device. As we move forward kind of and get vertical specific, we're looking at ICS mm -hmm. and the differentiation that we can provide in this space and very, being very smart about protecting critical infrastructure for uh, not only our customers, but, you know, large nations yep. and making sure that we're protected against kind of any malicious activity. So, you know, from an application perspective, we're seeing it grow just beyond kind of the traditional consumer and businesses, and now right. you're implementing it certainly in uh, critical imp infrastructure. One of the things we've seen this week uh, if, with... I guess some of the big announcements, 5G was a really hot topic, it is everywhere. Uh, IoT is effectively going to be deploying it and, and on 5G in many ways. Um, what does this do to the world you live in? 
uh, and you, you've got higher bandwidth, you've got lower latency time, you've got a lot more connectivity, uh, a lot more mobility, you've got autonomous things, uh, cars driving at 100 kilometers an hour down the road. Um, how, how does that impact your world? I mean, this must be a whole new tsunami of both <coughs> opportunity and challenge. Uh, you know, we refer to that as the data deluge. The data deluge. Yeah, like it's, it's an enormous amount of data, and it's not. We're not seeing any signs of an inflection point of that going down. Certainly, in fact, right. we're seeing quite the opposite. And with the increased bandwidth, uh, certainly on the mobile side, we're seeing that inflection point continue to increase. Right. So, from a cyber perspective, specifically from a threat perspective, we see these massive amounts of additional data coming in to our customers' environments as well as our own environments, and being smart about how we monitor, and then alert and then ultimately remediate any kind of malicious activity we see on that. So the mm -hmm. application, yet you know, full circle again, coming back to the application of advanced analytics, AI, in our uh, cyber posture is paramount. Mm -hmm. Well, it's certainly an exciting time for us, and uh, I've been watching with close interest uh, what you've been doing of late. Uh, the next uh, 18 to, I guess, 24 months are going to be an exciting time for all of us as uh, AT&T starts to deploy the, the first 5G network infrastructure, some of the edge sure. computing stuff around uh, the new edge-to-edge -edge theme that's here, and, and the uh, sensors are smart and dumb sensors out there gathering data. Sure. Thank you so much, Alex, for catching up with me on camera. It's been Pleasure. really great to hear uh, what you're working on and so what some of the exciting things that are coming down the line for us. Yep, thanks. Nice talking to you, Des. Indeed. Well, look, thank you very much, folks, for joining us again and tuning into uh, uh, a really great uh, series of insights into what's happening with uh, artificial intelligence being applied to uh, threat analysis, threat risk, uh, and cybersecurity in general around uh, the infrastructure space, IoT, uh, and 5G. Uh, we'll look forward to catching you in the next session. Thanks for joining us.